Welcome to Haskell Live. In this series, we're going to build a chess engine from scratch. Today, we'll teach our engine a basic representation of chess pieces and boards, and some helper functions to show them and read them. The first thing we're going to need is a type for our board. We're going to say that it's a list of lists of squares. Now, obviously, when we compile this, square hasn't been defined yet. So it'll raise a compile error. So let's go ahead and define a square, which can be either a piece or nothing, as maybe piece. And now we're going to need some data types for pieces. A piece has a color and a type where the color is just white or black, and the type is one of the piece types. All right, now that should compile. And the next thing we're going to want is a helper function to show a piece. We're going to use FEN notation. And the way that notation works is a white piece uses uppercase characters, P, N, B, and so on. And a black piece uses lowercase. So let's go ahead and write our show piece is a function that takes a piece and returns a character. It's a function from a piece to a character. Now we could write this in a way that used a lookup to get the piece for each character. And that may appear drier because there wouldn't be as many lines, but it would be less obviously correct. One of the things that's important when writing Haskell code is that each function is as obviously correct as possible. Because if you're building up a bunch of functions that are each obviously correct, what you get in the end is a much more obviously correct system that's much easier to reason about. So let's go ahead and ignore that feeling that tells us that we should be drier and write one definition for each piece in our in our pieces. So this first pattern will match on white pawns and it'll give us a capital P. And we'll keep doing this. So a knight, bishop, and so on. Okay. And now we need to do the same for black pieces. And we can just lowercase each one. So now we have show piece for all of the pieces. We can take a look in GHCI here. that a pawn, white pawn is a capital P, black pawn is a lowercase p, and so on. Next function we need is read piece, which is the inverse of show piece. Once again, I'm not gonna worry too much about dryness here because what I really want is obviously correctness. Now, since this is an invert a version, all I have to do is invert the function calls here. And we get a bunch of read piece. Let's try those out. White pawn. 
Now we'll see that when we try to run this in the REPL, it doesn't know how to show a piece. So in order to show a piece in the REPL, we're going to have to drive show for each of these. Then we can try again. There we go. Black queen and so on. So now that we can show a piece, we want to show a square, which will either show the piece if there's a piece on the square or show a space for an empty square. So ooh, show square takes a square and gives us a character. So show square of nothing. Remember, square is a maybe piece. Show square of nothing is the space character. And show square of just a piece is read piece piece. Oh, no, of course not. It's show piece, piece. That would make sense. Okay, now this is obviously correct and I like it, but let's think about possibly a refactor we could do here. Data maybe has a function called maybe. Let me load up my browser here. And maybe looks like this maybe takes some value of type B and a function from a value of type A to a value of type B and a maybe with a value of type A and returns a value of type B. So what does that mean for us? Well, our maybe A is square, which is maybe piece. And our B is care is character so we can see that what we want from maybe is a partially applied function that takes a square which is a maybe piece and returns a character so let's let's write that in here okay which means that each of these Bs are really characters. And each of these As are really pieces. Okay, so now this is starting to make sense. We have a function from piece to character, and that's show piece. So we'll just throw that in there. And then the way maybe works is the first value is used as the default if the maybe is nothing. And that is, of course, our single space. So we can rewrite show square as maybe single space show piece. And then we can fix our typo. Now let's try that again. Show square of nothing is a single space. And show square of just a piece is the character for that piece. All right, looks good. So now that we have show square, we can write read square. And read square is, of course, the inverse, so it takes a character and returns a square. And for this one, we are going to use pattern matching. So the character space gives us nothing. And some other character gives us just the piece that we get from calling read piece 
on the character. All right, that compiles. So what's next? Next is showing a square next is showing and reading a full board. So let's actually start with read board, which takes a string and returns a board. And I'll give that undefined so it compiles. That compiles because undefined is the bottom type, which means that it's included in every type. So undefined is a value of type board. So that compiles. And now let's think about how we're going to represent the board as a string. Let's use, let's represent it in rows of eight characters separated by new lines. So let's say that the starting position as a string is equal to all of the pieces as their characters in order separated by new lines. So unlines, by the way, is like join from Ruby. It'll take a list of strings and join them with new lines and give you back a single string. So we have rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, bishop, knight, rook. And then to make this a little bit easier on myself, put this down here. Next, we have a bunch of pawns. Oops. Next, we have four empty rows. And we have these two in reverse. And they need to be white. Okay, so there's our initial board. It actually looks like this. So each row is separated by a new line. Now what we want is we want read board to take that string and for each row, get each piece using read piece actually read square, sorry, so that we can get the empty squares. So we want to first take the uh, lines so that we have a list of strings. And then for each line, we want to read, excuse me, for each row, we want to read that row. Now we need a map row, or we need a read row. And that is just a map where each character is read with a read square. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So read board of the initial board gives us all of our pieces with their maybe piece square notation, the one that show automatically gives us. And now let's do the exact opposite for show board. Takes a board, gives us back a string. Now, first we need for each row, we're going to show that row. And for each row, we're going to, sh to, for each character in that row, we're going to show that square. And then that'll give us back a list of strings, which we'll use lines, AKA uh, join. I'm sorry, unlines, aka join, to join into a single string. And that means that if I show board of the board that I create with read board,
it should give me back the initial board. And in fact, I can test that for equality. All right. That'll do it for this episode. Tune in next time when we teach our test engine how to move pieces around. <laughs> <laughs>